So, the big question. Will Six Eggs Good Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey ever get another launch coaster after King the Car? In this video, I'll be stating the facts on why I think it may or may not happen. Welcome to King Park with respect to your destination to stay in the know with everything theme parks. Now let's get into this video. 5, 4, 3, 2, let's get it! Yeah! Six Flags Good Adventure has one of the rarest types of rides with King the Car because Intamin barely built any Intamin accelerators after King the Car besides Stormwind or Stealthful, I believe. And it is the tallest in the world. But if it was so successful, wh then why didn't Good Adventure build another launch coaster? There could be a couple of reasons. For example, they might have just have not wanted one because they think they're too intense for the general public. Looking at you, El Toro. Or it could be because it could be that many, most many factors sell launch coasters for way too expensive. But now I am gonna state the three reasons why I think it will happen, and three reasons why I think it won't. Starting off with why I think it could happen. Reason one: to attract more coaster enthusiasts. This could happen because around 60% of Six Flags visitors are the general public and Six Flags needs more coaster enthusiasts who would be willing to pay extra just to get on some awesome rides. Reason number two, because they want an extra ride that will be thrilling. This is the most likely reason in my opinion, because they don't have two launch coasters like um, I don't know, uh, maybe Six Flags Magic Mountain. But in all seriousness, they need a ride with that extra kick their lineup needs. Even though they already have King the Car and Toro. But still, they need a new ride type that isn't an old ride type like Car or Toro. Reason number 3. To compete with other amusement park chains. Okay, let's be for real. Amusement parks are always competitive and I'm dead serious. Always competitive. Like when Anguazi beat out Steve by a one foot height difference and a faster speed. So they would beat out, say, the acceleration record, like make it zero. I know this is very, um, very specific, but let's say this. Let's say they make it zero to 57 miles per hour in one, in 0 0.124 seconds or something like that. Now, that's the reasons why I think it will happen, so let's get to why I think it will let's get to why I think it will not. Reason one the They don't have enough space. Six Flags Good Adventure is known to be a really big amusement park and they used up a lot of that room, so they might not have enough space unless they were wanted to build it by the backstage areas. Reason two they just don't want another one. I think this because since King the Car is kind of rough on the launch, Six Flags has the impression that all launch coasters will be rough, even though that's not true. Reason 3. There's very little manufacturers that sell them. I say this because the only big manufacturers that sell launch coasters are Intamin, Premier Rides, Ghost Level, and SNS. The most, but most companies sell launch coasters for more than a amusement box budget. By that, I mean way too expensive. So, in conclusion, yes, I do think it's about seventy percent possible because Six Flags has a lot of good coasters, but most of the coasters, they're like, for example, Medusa or Superman, aren't even in my top five. And Jersey Dove is my number one though. But overall, out of all my credits. It's only in my top 50 out of 121 credits. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Theme Park Retrospective out.